I'm enjoying this food influencer experience. <laughs> One hand holding the camera, the other hand feeding myself. I'm good to eat what it's hot. <laughs> so here we are at Pai Leba and I'm so hungry, I'm looking for something, a nice awesome snack here. Um, Alright, some... where I can we go? Uh, <laughs> hey, look! Over that side. Oh, you can't see. You need to be a little bit taller. Yeah. Hey. Because I saw that green and white line. Let's go. get there. It's time for market. Yeah, 897 Supper Club. Are you ready to explore what they have? Uh, I want some meat. Alright, let's go. <laughs> so why? Why are we here? Market one, after midnight. One. Mm. First, I am extremely bored. Okay, let me take it out. Let me tell you, COVID makes me extremely bored. There's nowhere else to go in Singapore. I don't party, that's for sure. And this is a weekday and a weeknight, I have to work. And I'm hungry. Yes, that's for sure. We all are. But I think it's not about the best food that we can find. It's just basically, where can we go after midnight? It's like, when you're hungry, what can you think of? So, I would want to have options of what I can consume at midnight. And I don't care what food it is, as long as they are available and they are decent, they are cheap, they are good, yeah. you can find me there. Alright, I think we found our perfect place here. Yeah. 89.7 Supper Club. We know Supper Club, but what's 897? What's your name? My name is Russell. Malaysia is the 89.7 the radio channel is very popular. So my boss just like similar to keep the name up. That's why it's called 89.7. Yeah. It's based on the radio, radio station? Oh. No, no, no. Using the, just the popular, popular, popular idea. Of 89.7? Yeah, just using the radio. 89.7 is the radio station. Oh, yeah, right? the one uh, Malaysia, not Singapore, right? Singapore, oh, yeah. No, Malaysia. Malaysia. Singapore, Singapore Radio Station. But uh, these are not the uh, same company. So it's named after a radio station? Uh, it's named after a radio station. It's a 89.7 frequency. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. So that is what is named after. <laughs> yeah. We know that this is the this is a coconut, right? Yeah. Now, now I had always wondered what the green the green coloring is all about. Uh, what was the green color? Today I just found out that it is the the wheat grass. Wheat grass. Wheat grass. Yeah. It's supposed to be a healthy drink. Yeah. And this is one of the best. This quencher you can never find in Singapore, I think. Best. Is it cooling? Very cool. Very nice. Sir. So that's why it's called super cooler. There are a variety of food that we have, but I think I would want to have something which is not a little bit not so heavy at midnight so this is the chicken kebab is this a kebab it should be a kebab right no yeah so this is the chicken kebab i think it's small enough to fill me up and not too much so that i won't bloat that's the issue of going out after midnight i'm trying not to put on weight but yet i'm still hungry all the time oh it has a nice spicy aroma about it and you know what Kevin you shoot what you want to shoot let me try this let me try again the good thing about this is the bread is soft the chicken is not dry the whole wrap is, is, is moist and it's easy to eat what you and we have here the sambal beef fried rice. Okay. I've got a feeling it's going to be very very hot. Okay. All right. Smells good. Oh, awesome. Oh yeah. Very nice. Good. Is it because you're hungry? Yeah. I think it's nice to wrap up the, the, the night after eating this. It's not too hot. I'm, I'm very relieved it's not too hot. Is it oily though? No, it's not oily. You see, it's not that oily. So it's not too bad. So it's something that you want to eat at the end of a long day. If you go out with your friends, you go for drinking. Drinking is just a simple gathering, but it's a simple meal that you can't go wrong with.
provided if it's being done properly. You know what? Yeah, you try, you try. You know what? I mean, I trust Kevin, but I still need to have the fact. Feed, feed, feed your body, feed your body. We need to double check. Ooh. Just nice. Not too hot, not too spicy. Just nice. And it's not too oily also. Yeah. Maybe a tiger. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Not bad. So why is Matan Midnight or Midnight Matan so special? Is it just the timing? Are we hungry? Or is it just the atmosphere around us? You know, do you realize that the people that go out in the day and the people that go out at night are two different kind of people? The one who have more fun are the Midnight Matan. So we're the Midnight Gang. <laughs> and what better than 89.7 where you have a whole Bible of things to choose? Alright, and this is literally a Bible. I think it's bigger than the Bible that I have at home. The good thing is, for those of you who's not illiterate, <laughs> I don't go to the school. Uh, so they have all those pictures ready for you. So if you can't tell, if you can't read, if you come from that special school, then you just look at the pictures and you can do your order. How many pages are there? <laughs> 19 pages of food for you to choose from. Crazy. Do you know that? A good menu means you have the capacity to bring up the price a little bit more. Okay. So that has always been the restaurant theory, right? If you give a good menu, you are able to touch a little bit more rather than a paper menu. Trust me, I read it somewhere. Might not be true, but yeah. few minutes later you know where i come from we climb the trees to get the coconut the richer fellas get the monkeys to do it <laughs> let's see what goes behind the kitchen can you tell me yeah? You're saying that your dad runs to go place? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, I mean, I mean what, what got you guys the idea to come up with a halal based food court? I mean. Actually, my dad loves to see all the rangers, right? They can eat together. Then, of course, they can have some joke among themselves uh, while eating. Uh, that's all. And, and why the large variety, I mean, and the 24 hours, I mean, what's so different from the other restaurants that you guys have? Uh, actually, in every different cuisine, right, there's a different culture mm. in it. So we bring a lot of variety food over here, so that our regular customer will come back to us and then try a new style, right? then okay. give us some feedback also. Alright. No, no, I mean, so far we have tried the food, it's been awesome. Right. And when we were looking around on where to go at midnight to eat, they recommended us to come here. Alright, thank you so much. Oh, awesome, awesome. No, no, I mean, thanks for showing us around. No um, the, the super cooler was fantastic. We had the sambal beef rice and then the chicken kebab. And I think now we're going to try some beef biscuits, right? Yes. Alright, no, no, thank Hope you so much. Alright, no thank you, man. No worries. Alright. It's a lot. It's a lot. We can't just leave it like this, right? We need to consume this. So many thanks to Max, who is the, the son of the owner here. Um, and he cooked up this wonderful second supper for us. Um, when you talk about good courtesy, good PR, warm hospitality, it makes it. All right, let's dig in. I'm not sure if, you are, if I can finish this, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> Ooh! So it's soft, it melts in your mouth, and, and it is tasty. 
I thought I had the kebab and I thought that was good enough. Then I had this. Then I think I'm gonna have it again. So melts in your mouth? It does. Awesome. Yeah? Awesome. I like it. It just breaks up in your mouth. I'm gonna put this down so I can eat. <laughs> Fish Hong Kong. Okay. Not bad. Good. It's not easy to cook. I mean, I've tried cooking the Hong Kong at home, but it's, it's, it's not, 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 not easy. It's a common dish. I, I mean, I wouldn't say this is a, anything special or extraordinary, but the beef brisket is a lot, a lot better than, than the Hong Kong. Um, but they're just both as just as good. It does look hot. Am I gonna regret it? Oh my god! I won't try it. <laughs> no! I'm going to do the challenge. <laughs> you cannot do the challenge.